Hi, so today we're releasing uh, Etherpad version 1, uh, Etherpad Lite version 1, and um, I'm going to give you a little demo of the product, uh, show you what we've been doing, and give you a good idea of what Etherpad is. So I'm going to start out with just basically a quick demo of Etherpad. So hit new pad, and you'll see this is my document that I'm able to edit, blah, blah, blah. Put a bunch of stuff in, and uh, then I can go ahead and share this. So the idea is really that it's a collaborative writer so let's load up another page Hi, and you'll see that as I update on my Firefox window it's updating in my Google Chrome so that is essentially what Etherpad is, it's a really real time collaborative writer where two people can write together now <clears throat> the old Etherpad did that as well so you're probably thinking well what's new in this new version of Etherpad um, and what is new is that we've relate, uh, reduced the code base down from 500,000 lines to roughly 20,000 lines. I've reduced the memory requirements from roughly 2 gig to um, about 20 meg. Um, we've released a Microsoft Windows version. Uh, we've released a PHP class. We've released a jQuery plugin. Um, yeah, a huge rewrite. Uh, we've simplified the interface, made it nicer. Uh, made it faster, uh, made it much easier to integrate with other CMSs and really that's what our focus has been on. It's been on uh, the ability to give developers, um, well, the kind of notion is to give developers the ability to embed Etherpad Lite into their CMS, their website, you know, however they want to use it. Um, we've got WordPress support coming up soon. Um, it's not going to be available in version 1, but hopefully version 1.1, 1 .1, uh, fully documented API, so developers can get on board and just use that real quick and easy. Uh, new QR code support, um, better import export options, um, yeah, just loads of like even ability to use parameters in the URL to, to specify stuff like monospace fonts. Um, oh yeah, infinite colour picker, um, so you can have any colour you want now instead of being restricted to just a few. Uh, and again, um, people that are familiar with Etherpad, or if you're not familiar with Etherpad, then we've kept the time slider feature, which is uh, the ability to look to see how a document has evolved through its development. So yeah, we've been super, super busy. Um, this is about two years' work to press so far we're looking for people to help support the project and also um, we're looking for uh, developers to take on board the project and to start using real, really real time collaborative, collaborative editing in their website you might want to call it multiplayer notepad you know multiplayer duo, multiplayer gedit, whatever you want to call it um, but yeah that's what we've been working on and I'd love to see some comments and uh, some support thanks very much